Meg was accused by the suit's cast of acting cruelly toward Gina Torres and of manipulating images to make her appear obese. Nine seasons of Suits were shown on USA Network from 2011 to 2019. Michael, who portrayed lawyer-turned-paralegal Rachel Zane, met Prince Harry in the show's last season. Due to obvious reasons, she chose not to return for the season finale, which has already spent seven weeks among Netflix's top ten streaming shows. The Duchess, however, was upset from the cast because of a major feud she had with the actors, according to sources inside the movie. Actor Patrick J. Adams published a collection of unguarded behind-the-scenes photos of his former co-star, the Duchess of Sussex, last month. Adam posted images of Meghan Markle on Instagram on Monday, showing her in the legal turmoil up to April 2018, a month before her nuptials to Prince Harry. In a previous post from Adams with additional photos, Meghan, who portrayed Rachel Zane on the sitcom, is shown grinning with the co-stars. Sarah Rafferty, who portrays Donna Paulson on the program, is shown with Meghan as they are both resting on a floor of an office. Patrick also shared a stunning picture of Gina Torres with the comment, taken by Meghan Markle. It's important to note that this image has been altered, and it was also covered in a recent TV program about a collection of behind-the-scenes images from well-known films. Gina's figure has been deliberately altered in the image, and it's thought that Meghan purposefully dragged the image horizontally before publishing it to her Instagram account to make a co-star appear larger than they actually are. These amusing remarks on the aforementioned photo. Meghan Markle is four inches shorter than Gina. Gina's longer frame performs well in the realm of fashion. Gina has a nice, sleek figure that complements her lengthy frame. Picture one seems strange. Gina's head would strike the lights if she stood up. Max is such a monster, she lacks the background Gina needs to appear to be a larger lady. One of the ugliest backdrops I've seen recently was in photo two. Gina's stunning underclass act was shared by Megan because she believed Gina's position was awkward. I've often wondered what it was truly like to work with Megan. Many members of the cast and crew seem to be too nice to get involved, in my opinion. Since Gina Torres is a true queen and goddess, her profession ought to be far more successful than it is. She was in a program called Cleopatra 2525 when I first saw her, and although though the show was silly and entertaining, it was clear that she was a talented performer. This actress is not a product of nepotism. I got the idea from reading Gina's interview that it was just a business connection for her and nothing more. She has been acting long enough to have met Meghan Markle and managed her appropriately to perform her duties without becoming a target. She isn't even making an effort to conceal her hatred for anyone with eyes. She doesn't like a co-worker, as seen by her strained expression, phony grin, and piercing eyes. I believe Miss Torres ought to have been placed far away from that woman. Disturbed individuals who are unable to wear masks throughout the night may commit cold-blooded murders without remorse as long as it serves their interests. She's frightful.